going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us today. Woo, we got another great guest with us today, owner and founder of Taken Network, my dear friend, Barry Alsobrook. And you're going to hear from him in a minute, but we will first introduce ourselves. But before that, don't change the channel. God's got something for you. And, you know, many of you are called even into media. And Barry will be talking about how God called him into it. And it will encourage you, okay? I'm Charlene back to Mary and your God's View host. I want you to go to those prayer lines, 307-637-PRAY. That's 7729. You're anonymous and God wants to give you breakthrough, okay? We'll go to heaven with faith and see results for you, okay? Again, Charlene back to Mary. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember, God does have a view. God does have a view personally for you. Stephanie Besh, Lana Gardner. Priscilla Pruitt, and shake our friend's hand. Welcome, Barry. Woo! Welcome to the show. Hallelujah. Oh, he's just going to shake all of our hands. <laughs> Yay! That's what I'm talking about. Shake all of our hands. So, Barry, okay, right now, you're the one. First of all, we're at NRB. Of course, you're going to realize that we're not in our studio. <laughs> National Religious Broadcasters. And you know what? NRB has been so fruitful for God's view and just meeting people and I met you at the NRB, yep. and now Barry, God has raised him up and raised up a network, and that's who's filming today at the NRB with us, okay? He's filming all of these, and there's going to be a few shows that have been brought to you, phenomenal, and you'll want to watch them, and so as soon as we release them, we will let you know. So, Barry, yes. thank you for being with us. Oh, it's my pleasure. So, it. tell us about you. Tell us how God started this awesome network because he's taking, I mean, it's going, man. Oh, it's yeah. doing good. It, it, and we are on Taken Network. So just just for that record, okay? So you go ahead and shoot. Yeah, it was uh, about a little over three and a half years ago. God gave me a dream, woke me up about two o'clock in the morning, and I'm sitting on the couch writing down show ideas. I had never considered a network or doing anything like that, but God had put a particular show on, on my mind um, a few years ago, something that I wanted to do um, that had been done in a secular manner, but never from a, I felt never from a Christian standpoint, which I thought would just be awesome. And I had that, but never thought anything about doing a network. So I'm three o'clock in the morning writing down show ideas. By six, I'd had about 20 show ideas down and it was just amazing. It was just amazing. And two months later, we, we started the network. That two months later. Awesome. Yeah. So, see, it all began with a dream. But that dream is just not if you don't do something. Barry, what did you do to follow through on that dream to start this network? Well, I started doing my research first, obviously, to, to find out about networks and what was all involved. And then just God just started opening doors. It was amazing. You know, this one, I contacted this one. And... They had information for me, and then there there actually happened to be an event that um, uh, that a friend of mine was putting on, and she said, "Well, you're doing the network. You need to you need to do the uh, filming, and you know have your have this event on." And it was a, a network you guys are very familiar with, Sam Sorbo, and and um, uh, um, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, Sam, well, Sam and Kevin, and um, there were a lot of other people, Alex Newman. Um, uh, I'm just forgetting right now, but I, I, I'll get it. Yeah, yeah, several other people that were involved in the event, and um, so we, we actually filmed that event and did it, and it was really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah See, God yeah. is faithful. The Bible says old men will dream dreams. Sorry. Did you take that personal? <laughs> it's your birthday today. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Not that you're old. Not that old. Old men will dream dreams. Did you take it personal? She said yeah. old men will dream dreams. Did he take it personal? <laughs> that is so funny. But no, there. so you did. You went and filmed that. But there were steps and you 
started the network. Here you are. You've got all kinds of people on that network, God's views on that network, and it's doing great because you obeyed. You obeyed the dream and the voice. So tell us about that. Well, yeah. I mean, we just, I just did the, the dream was just, I, I just kept hearing the word taken, taken. And I actually didn't even get it at first, you know, and I'm like, what, you know, like, what's that, you know? And so I just, I, it, it took me a while to get it. And then it, what he was telling me was because all the, vi all the visions and the shows that he was showing me all were related, related to Christians being active in the community. So that, so that I knew it, I knew that, that it was going to be something with being active or being, you know, in, in the community doing things. So it was, so the actual taken stands for the active right. kingdom entertainment network. The oh, Active Kingdom Entertainment that. Network. Yeah, yeah, Active yeah. yeah. So we kept, yeah, yeah. So we kept seeing these, uh, all the shows, like I said, just showed Christians doing good things and doing, um, uh, uh, being out and involved in the community and, um, yeah, and evangelism and missionaries and all. So, yeah. So so I have a, two questions. Okay. You said that you had shows that God downloaded into you. And so were you producing those shows? And then secondly, Whenever you do something and you step out in faith, whenever you take out that Goliath, there's always going to come persecution that rises up. There's always oh, yeah. going to come people and things that come against you. What kinds of persecutions, what what giants that you have to defeat in the process of getting from dream to fulfillment? Yeah. Well, if you remember about three years ago, that's when, you know, COVID happened. So right. basically God gave me the dream like a two weeks before COVID, <laughs> two weeks before COVID. So. That was like, yeah, so the, so even the event that we were to do actually wound up getting um, rescheduled for like six months later. So all these things, yeah, so a bunch of things came up. We did start doing some shows on our own and just, um, I mean, for, for a little while there was a lot of things coming against us. So we weren't able to um, actually complete some of them and um, through... Um, Actually, we had um, one of our show hosts pass away big through with COVID, and and then another one actually had gotten COVID, and but was we thought was okay, but then six months later passed away. So we had so that was a really that was a real hard time that we were going through because those were two of our very popular shows. One was called Forever Young that we did, and we actually she went out and interviewed. Uh, um, a lot of things that had interest to seniors and stuff like it was a fantastic show and then we had one called um, G uh, God's Blessings and that one was through a, a, a gentleman that was one of the most anointed people I had ever met Harvey Cosberg and he was just he saw miracle after miracle he would pray I mean he just was constantly bringing on people on testimonies of people that he had prayed for and seen amazing healings and even animals. I mean, yeah. he, we, 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 we had animals that were, that were supposed to be put down and were healed like the next day. Mm -hmm. It was just amazing, you know. So we had a bunch of interviews that he had done. And then, and then of course, you know, when, when, when God took him home, some people found him and he had this biggest smile they've ever seen on his face just laying there, you know. So it was awesome, you know. Yeah. But he, he had a great life and, 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 and and, and and affected a lot of people in a very positive way oh, with the Lord. Know. Yeah, you know. You, oh gosh. Well, no, go ahead. You buy first. Um, just just hearing you share your story of just some of the trials you went through. You know, it's also very encouraging that, in spite of whatever is going on, that God is still present. That He's still very real, and that's that's why we do this. That's why you do this, and that God has opened that door because there are people that need to know that Jesus is real. That there is a heaven, and that. At a certain time, we will all um, die and go into either heaven or hell. And that's why you're doing what you're doing and opening that door yeah. for salvation. You know, John 3, 16 said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that yeah. whosoever believeth in him should not perish and have everlasting life. And so to me, even though that, that's very devastating and you walk through grief, it's also very encouraging to know that, you know what, it, it is okay. And we have to still move forward in what we're called to do. So then my next question is, in your growing up years, I always like to know this, in your growing up years, when did you come to know the Lord? And when you did, did you ever have a desire in you? Like, 
Yeah, I'm gonna. I want to be in TV, or I want to help produce, or things like that. Did you write things out, or did you stand in front of the mirror and act like you were? You know, I like to know those things because God puts those visions inside of you. Yeah. So. Yeah. And initially, I did come to the Lord about when I was about seven years old. You know, um, living with my um, grandmother, we always went to church and everything. So it was a big, a big thing. Yeah, it was incredible. And, and but then, um, of course. As I got older, I kind of like slid away a little bit, and but I always, but God always protected me. It was amazing because I was put in so many situations that could have went so wrong, and just um, being raised by a single mom, and just the things that 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 we went through as a child. Um, um, I didn't have. I, I feared my dad my whole life because um, there was a huge custody battle between my mom and dad, and he would. Um, kidnap us and keep us from my mom for sometimes years at a time so it was really bad and yeah it, it was a rough childhood so I, I just praise the Lord that he kept me because I know other people that had been through even lesser things or whatever and they turned to drugs and alcohol but I never touched any of that you know but the Lord just kept me um, I mean he just kept me safe and um, and um, so uh, but then when I really did get to a, a, a rock bottom point in uh, my marriage, um, God really, really um, rescued us. And we, we knew that there, I mean, we were at the bottom. So we knew that there was no way out except up through the Lord. And so we did, we recommitted our lives to the Lord and just amazing what he's done and how he healed our marriage and and now we're doing the network, so yeah, it's amazing. So, so, but going back to just one part of what Stephanie said, was it a surprise to you, uh, media, or when you were a little boy, like she said, did you ever like think you would be in media, look in the mirror and say uh, stuff? And, not really. Yeah, no, it was no, a surprise really wasn't to me too. That, no, it was really, it was really a God thing because it was, it, 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 it's something, no, I had never imagined that I would do, oh, oh, I had never imagined that I would do that. Yeah, oh. never had imagined. Well, what did you do just prior to the Lord speaking to you and telling you to do this? Well, Were you an engineer in electronics? Uh, or? Um, well, Laura and I had a photography company for speak. like 30 years. So we had done, we had done like event photography and, and children's photography, family photography, that type of stuff. So we've been in that form of photography media, but never like not much video and, and, and never thought of doing a network. So yeah, yeah. So that was yeah. something, it was just, it just and, came, yeah. And what about with your wife? Like, was this something that was a surprise to her? Because when you're married, you're one. So if God oh, yeah. places this in your heart, she's also going to have that confirmation in right. her heart because it really is the two of you together doing this. You can't do this on your own. You need right. that support. And also, what kind of support system did God give you? Is there a church that's backing you, prayer? Uh, like, are there people supporting you? Absolutely, yeah. No, Laura was behind it uh, 100%, but at the time, she was still taking care of her mother, who actually made it to 100. So, yeah, yeah. So she was doing, that was a real priority in her life at the time but That's yeah no she's horrible. been oh, yeah. behind God me 100 percent and helped us you know we, we work it together thank you thank you thank you thank you um and um but yes i have a great church that i go to in port uh that's based out of west palm but there's a campus in port st Lucie, and i just have a ton of friends uh um men's groups that i go to in west palm and and a men's um event that I attend uh, regularly. Those are those are really good supporters and some great friends really help support me. And yeah, and that's a yes, lot of men absolutely. need yes. that. What you're saying, Barry? Yes. Uh, because they they uh, isolate themselves. They and or or they you know can't trust someone. And that's a big thing. If people are listening to what Barry's saying and what we're saying today, you know. Uh, God is really rebuilding trust. It's one of the things that your husband had for 2024. And you can trust him to bring people in your life that you can trust, okay? Because things are turning around like that. And one of the words that God gave me for 2024, and I keep saying this, you need to believe again. He said, my believers need to believe again. So many of them, my bride has shrunk back in cowardness and in fear. But he says, I want them to rise up because I am rising Mary's this hour and this, this year. 
that would say, be it unto me, Lord, according to thy word. And that's the truth. We've got to believe it. And, and Barry, when God spoke to him, Barry said, yay, I'm doing it. You've got to say, yes, God, you've got to obey and you've got to take that next step. And you can go to Taken Network. Is it dot com, right? And, well, Taken Network dot TV. Taken Network dot TV. Right. I, I should know because I put it on the thing. Taken Network dot TV. And, and maybe you I have a show. Maybe you need to get a hold of Barry uh, for anything of that nature and want to come on TV. God has been giving you a pilot and and uh, he can help you through that, give you the ins and outs and what you need to do and all that and set it up. And and uh, he's a great uh, videoer. He's a great uh, editor. He's okay. IT. He's everything from front to finish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and I do want to thank Lightcast. We're, we're, we're actually at their booth um, this week uh, doing this. So they've been generous to give us this space. Um, and they, they are the provider of, of Taken TV that well, provide the platform praise God for, for us. Lightcast yeah. and this. Yes, and, and for Taken TV for videoing these shows that we got to do at the NRV, National Religious Broadcasters. 2024, you know, we've been here for years and amazing things happen here. Amazing things, divine interventions and connections. And so, Barry, what would you tell somebody really, really important that maybe a, 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 something that was a pitfall along the way and something that's great along the way when you were starting Taken Network. Yeah, I would say that that definitely do your research uh, and also be very, very pray prayerful about the people that you bring alongside you because um, there can be people that are um, that you think are your friends and people that you think are 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 looking out for your best interest or for the best interest of the network, but they may have another agenda. And and um, you just gotta make sure that you're with like-minded people as well. Um, that was an issue that we had initially. Um, yes, yes, yes. Right people with you, that's a pitfall is what he's saying answering that question. Yeah, exactly. You gotta have the, the right uh, partners and, and people that are you know that are that are watching your back and the people that you're that you're involved with, um, and, and you really need to make sure they're they're on the same um, agenda. You know they have the same agenda. You know some people have, you, you, you know can may appear to be one way, but they're not always that way. So that was one issue that we had. Yeah, that was definitely a pitfall. But um, as far as uh, what's really been good is just meeting people like you guys, you know, and, and finding um, um, great content creators that it, it's just been incredible. And then this journey that God's put me on to be able to come to things like this NRB and ICFF and content, all these different festivals and stuff that we go to. I've met some wonderful people. So that has been probably one of the best parts of it. You know what's really amazing about yeah. you is that you've made this attainable for people who are starting out. Yes. You're not in this to get rich. And a lot of no. people, they see us on TV, they immediately think that we're all rich. But none of us up here get paid for what we do. And I, I know that even you, you don't make this to where it's for gain. It is truly nonprofit. Can yes, you explain that and what God and how you came about to make that so attainable for people who are new to this in TV environment? Absolutely. Well, that's that was part of the vision that God gave me. It was like, um, if you guys remember years ago, the cable companies had the um, the all access networks. So in, in, in my mind, that's part of what God was. I felt like that's what God was saying to me. You got to make this available to the small ministries. You got to make this available so that we can get their so we can get their word out. You know, we don't we've got enough of these uh, networks that want to charge people thousands and thousands yeah. of dollars to be on them. But you got to make this available so that we can get your so we can get the message out. Right. And because um, all these these these, these small ministries. They have great messages, but they're sometimes nobody ever hears about it. Right. So that yeah. was that That's was the so vision good. that God gave me. Yes. You know, what I see about you is that truly you don't appear to have fear. That you seem to go forward, trust in the Lord, and know that it's going to work out. Yeah. Great faith. Thank yes. you. Yeah. 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 If I looked at circumstances right now, I'd be pretty like scared. <laughs> But no, I believe God's taking care of 
everything. Yeah. And that's what that's that's what, how we walk by faith. Yeah, yeah. because uh, building networks, people don't realize what it costs. They don't realize yeah. this the monthly cost. If it's a small network, of course it isn't like the millions, but it's a lot to do this. Yes. So if you're watching today, won't you go to Taken.tv and do a donation today? Please. Won't you do that? And I mean, just bless this man of God because he's bringing content to you that encourages you, that blesses your family, brings healing, signs, wonders, and miracles. And so if God is speaking to you today, go to Taken T uh, Taken Network TV. Na gosh, Taken Network TV. Yes. I'm I'm almost there. No, but <laughs> And do that, you know, and it'll probably, it'll be, it'll be across the uh, bottom of the screen. Yeah, yeah. We'll and so, anyways, Barry, what else would you have to say to somebody that is just starting out? They need encouragement because people keep, the devil keeps getting the victory with them because they're so afraid. Yeah. I, uh, my biggest thing, <clears throat> excuse me, my biggest thing, and, 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 and I feel like how I would encourage people is, is is unity unity find find um yeah. a group that you can um get you know you can join and then you can you can have help in the body of christ because that's what you know that's what it's about we're supposed to be one body and you know working together not all in all these different places doing our own thing but we need to be unified working yeah. together for yeah. one goal amen. and that's to get the gospel out and yes amen and i just think that yeah, that's what they need to do. We, you need to find a way, not just to say, oh, I want to build my brand. I want to do this, but get together and do something together because there's so much more power in numbers, you know, than there is in, in just, you know, one person trying to do something. Yes. Now. And, as you, yeah. and, and as you do that, and then you're thinking, well, I'm doing this for somebody else. But then yeah. all of a sudden the blessing comes to Amen. you. Amen. Yes. 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 Yeah. And and as you've been sharing and just speaking your heart, I just keep hearing the Lord say about you that you are a very kind, humble man and that he's well pleased with you. He yeah. is thankful that you said yes and that you took that step to move forward because um, just like we've all witnessed and you've said and you, and you just said, is you're winning souls for the kingdom Damn. and that's what it's about and not only people that don't know the lord but people who have known the lord and fallen away or people that think i don't have hope anymore i know the lord but life happened and i just don't know if i can continue to go forward and so thank you for what you do thank you for your heart for being kind i remember when i first met you and i walked away and i thought that is a true person that is a true man of god a very kind man that wants to serve the Lord and his kingdom. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, That's, That's wonderful. That's yeah. Because yeah. people yeah. do need to be thanked because it took courage and it takes faith and it takes a lot of work. Yeah. I know. Yes. Me too. Well, Barry, we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. Before we end, what are some testimonies that have come forth of this, of you walking in faith and you being obedient to God's call? Well, I'm so glad you asked that because I was just wanting to say that actually. Yeah. Um, well, one of the first things, and, and it was very early on in the um, in the ministry in, in Taken TV, uh, within the first like month or two, um, I heard of our first salvation. Came from the show that we had done, and I. I just was, I had to tell everybody yeah. that somebody got saved through one of our shows. Yeah, I had All to say that. Yeah, I was so, I mean, yeah, yeah, I was, I was. It was so like when somebody said that, you know, that, that their uncle watched the show that we had done with them. And it was, it was, it was actually a, a show we filmed from Harvey that I had mentioned. And um, it was a, a testimony of a young girl who um, at six years old, I guess, got some kind of vaccination, but it caused a horrible problem with her for like for like six years. I wow. mean, the doctors couldn't even find it, but she was having a horrible thing. So she was prayed for by Harvey, and and she was healed. I mean, Thank she was Jesus. like Praise dramatically God. healed and didn't go through that anymore. And the uncle knew what the girl had been through, and he watched it watched the show that we created and he gave his life to the Lord after wow. seeing the testimony of his niece. Oh, and so Jesus. that was That's so cool. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just um, the, show, the, the, the different shows that we're doing that um, people are just coming together and just doing some marvelous things for the Lord. Yeah, yeah. 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 So uh, are you going to get prayer lines at some point? Um, absolutely. We, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. When we, because prayer yeah. lines really show me what God is doing through our show uh -huh. on taking or wherever we get calls oh, from all over okay. the world. And I'll tell you, it really is a confirmation that, wow, we're doing powerful things. Sometimes I want to pinch myself. I go, really? You yeah. Get the wow, yeah. Wow, Cause you get wow. the testimonies yeah. and yeah. you know, because we, we see all this work behind the scenes. But if we don't have some feedback until you run into the store, I mean, I run into people all the time in the store and I take pictures and they know me or something. But I mean, um, I'd say what God has done, but the prayer lines are really just key, just key. Wow. And they're not, they're not a lot, but a lot of money a month. I mean, just say, you know, you don't have to have 15 prayer partners. Just start with a couple and. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've got um, somebody that, that actually did it for um, one of our, actually a testimony on the network, um, which this is amazing, actually. Um, if you could go on and watch the, watch the Barry, show. Barry, I'm so okay. sorry. I got to cut you off. Thank you so hey, much for welcome. joining us. You're welcome. Taking TV network. I mean, taken network dot TV. I mean, please go to it and see Barry's a blessing. We air on that program, but here's what we have. This is why we have the show for you to know Jesus Christ as your Lord and savior. Listen, if you don't know him today, he wants you. And you know, all who call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Please don't believe the lie of the devil that, oh, he don't want you or you're not clean enough or you're not good enough. He wants you just the way you are. He loves you. And all you got to do is ask him into your life and be the Lord of your life and forgive you of your sin. And I'm telling you, he'll come in and let you and him do all your business and clean up stuff. You do. He came while we were all yet sinners. We were all a mess, still a mess. But Jesus saved us. Amen. Amen. He's a good God. It's the goodness of God that brings us to repentance. Won't you come to him today? And if you said that prayer, call 307-637-PRAY, or that's 7729, and then ask Jesus to baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire because you've now received him. Now you need the Holy Spirit and your heavenly prayer language. That is your 911 to heaven. And I'll tell you, it'll change your walk and your life because Holy Spirit is the same spirit who raised Christ Jesus from the dead and quickens our mortal bodies. He's raising you from the dead today. We're so grateful that you tuned in today. We love you, but Jesus loves you more. Please go to my website, GodsViewTVShows.com. Um, I don't have my anointing oil, but we got a new spray one that you could use as perfume or anointing oil. We all have our regular one. I have some prophetic art there. Other things helps us keep coming into your home and around the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And remember this, God does have a view. God does have a view personally for you. It's only goodbye for today. We love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.